Hey Capricorn, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-February to the end of February 2022 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Capricorn and it is going to be general so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation but that is perfectly okay. You can check out one of your other signs if you would like or you can book a personal reading for more specific details. You can find all that information in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Mid-February 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, so... Capricorn. Okay, so this is the main situation here. It is the Hermit crossed by the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so that's Virgo energy. We also have Gemini showing up down here. Um, it could be that there's a lot of solitude at the moment for you. Maybe you're feeling alone or maybe they're feeling alone. Maybe the both of you are feeling alone. I definitely feel like there is some kind of a withdrawal. Um, between you and another person and it feels like maybe there's some difficulty in coming to some kind of an agreement or um, a difficulty in actually like you know working working together feeling like you just either that you're just not compatible or feeling like you know you just can't agree on certain things um, in your energy, we have the Two of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Interesting. Um, yeah, it definitely feels like you're feeling like, you know what, like, we just don't agree. Or we're just not compatible. Like, there's something that we cannot see eye to eye on. And... It feels like, you know, you're, um, it's interesting because you have the King of Pentacles, they have the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you might be dealing with another earth sign. Because um, it does feel like we have quite a bit of pentacles here. Um, it's like you're both thinking of each other uh, and it does come in almost like maybe you're holding more of the masculine energy regardless of gender and they might be holding more of the feminine energy. It, it feels like, you know, you're really secure in what you believe in and what you stand for and also that you're very um, committed but I feel like I feel like you're committed to your own beliefs at this point in time. And you just want to be, um, it's like you want to be successful, but you want to be successful on, on your own terms, not necessarily, not necessarily with the other person. Um, for them, they have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Lovers. Yeah, they, I feel like they want to communicate here. I don't know if you're already in communication or if maybe, you know, because it does feel like there's some kind of a withdrawn kind of an energy here. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're not communicating, though. Um, there's definitely movement from their end, from their side towards you and wanting this, this connection with you. I feel like they actually want it more than you do at the moment. Hmm. So for the potential outcome here, we have the Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding on tightly to this. And not only that, I feel like somebody's holding on really tightly to their own um, perspective or to their own rules or to their own decision. It's coming in like that. I kind of feel like that's you, but... And I'm not saying that in a negative way. It could be very positive, actually. It really depends. Um, as long as it's not coming from a place of feeling like you might lose something and so, you know, um, not moving in the direction that you would want to for fear of losing it. We'll see. All right, so let's clarify the Hermit with the Three of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands, 
the lovers showing up a second time, and the magician. And I do feel like these lovers, they keep showing up in these readings for mid February. Um, <laughs> which, yeah, I mean, it is Valentine's Day season. All right, either, well, by the time I post these, it will be past Valentine's Day, but that's irrespective. That's not related to this. Um, I just thought it was interesting. So, okay. It's not easy. This, this apartness, it doesn't feel easy and it feels like it may have been, um, there's a lot of hurt behind it. Like there's a lot of hurt that has led up to this. I actually feel like that's that's actually what has manifested um, the situation now is a lot of pain. So it's like the pain actually manifested itself in a way where there's this, okay, pulling away from, from each other and um, not being able to agree on certain things or feeling like, you know, we just can't work together. I feel like it's the pain of that that was, um, that's behind all of this. And it just, that's what brought certain events or certain attitudes, certain behaviors, certain thinking patterns to the table, which actually led to the situation as it is now. It's because of some pain, some struggles from the past. Hmm. There's definitely love here though, that's for sure. Lover showing up twice. Uh, let's see that two of swords. In your energy here we have the chariot and the seven of cups it feels like this is like almost like a very like um, impulsive decision like from one minute to the next you were like nope you know what like it's just not working like this just doesn't work there's something here that we just cannot agree on and um, so that's it and then it's like I feel like your focus kind of locked on that. Um, I don't know, Capricorn. I mean, the roles can be reversed. That Seven of Cups, though, I'm getting kind of like, you know, you. it's like you're at this point right now where you just don't even want to consider any other alternatives or any other options or, you know, you don't want to try to find any other solutions. You're just like, you know, no, I, I don't see you though necessarily being done with this. You're just, I mean, it could even be that you're like, you know what, let's just agree to disagree. But it's still creating that distance though with the other person here. Uh, let's see the King of Pentacles. Six of Cups and Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're trying to um, cope with the nostalgia that might still be here though for this person. You just have like this very grounded energy about you, right? Being a Capricorn, um, you like having things under control, um, very organized, very practical. And so it's like, it almost feels like you're like forcing yourself to really manage and cope with the nostalgia of this connection or of how this connection used to be or maybe of how this connection could be. Let's see the Six of Wands. <laughs> Six of Wands again, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. And I was about to say, because, I mean, some things I just don't want to say because I don't, I don't know, you know, it could be different for everybody. Um, I was about to say, I'm going to leave this up to you to decide whether it's a self-defense mechanism or not, right? The trying to cope with, the way you're trying to cope with the nostalgia. <laughs> And then spirits are like, nope, here you, you're gonna you're gonna tell them. Um, so again, only take this if it resonates. Okay, like I said, it can't resonate for everybody, but obviously there are some Capricorns out there that might want might need to hear this. Um, so yeah, six of wands clarified by the six of wands again, the ten of swords, and the seven of wands. 
it is a bit of a self-defense mechanism, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, all right? Self-defense mechanisms exist for a reason. Um, they can help us in a lot of ways, all right? They can help us to deal with things temporarily until, you know, we are more ready to face something head on. Um, if we use self-defense mechanisms to the extreme, well, then it can be counterproductive because, well, then we're just avoiding what we truly feel or we're avoiding um, some kind of a conflict or a situation issue, right, that needs to be resolved. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like underneath all of this, all of this, you know, groundedness and having things under control and, yeah, I got this, I can manage this, um, there is a lot of pain still here with that Ten of Swords. It's, it's not fun. This is not fun energy. Seven of Wands, that is a little bit of defensiveness. Six of Wands showing up twice in combination with this. It can be a little bit of ego, but in the sense of, you know, trying to protect yourself. Which again, you know, it's going to be up to you how you use this and how you handle this. So I feel like the message is, you know, just, um, it's just a precaution to just not, not avoid completely how you feel how you truly feel. To your own self. I'm not saying that you necessarily have to, you know, um, go and, <laughs> and, you know, splatter this all over this other person's face, you know, of how you feel, but, you know, at least be honest with yourself. That's the message I'm getting. All right, so let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups and the High Priestess. This person is grieving the loss of you, basically. And I don't feel like they're necessarily being open about it either, which would make sense, right, having that the hermit as the um, main situation here. Like I said, it feels like there's been some quiet between the two of you or there's just been um, some kind of withdrawn energy, just kind of keeping to your own selves here. But this person is grieving. Let's see the Eight of Wands. The Three of Cups, the Tower, and the Three of Wands. They're definitely wanting a reconciliation here with you. They're wanting to fix things. Um, actually, I don't know if they're wanting to fix things, so to speak, but they, they just, they want to reconnect. A lot. <laughs> uh, that's a big drive there with the Eight of Wands. And for some of you, if you're not in communication, this could definitely be that this person communicates this to you. Um, But I feel like it's coming in with an energy of, what's the word, um, like destruction, almost like, yeah, it doesn't feel like, I'm not seeing that there is really a resolution and I, I kind of feel like that's because you might be not really accepting this. Either that or this person is just expecting that it's going to make things worse and possibly holding back because of that. I don't really see them holding back though, that's the thing. Um, it could be, it could be that they're procrastinating with that Three of Wands. Because there's this fear of it just blowing up in their face. Because it feels like right now things are not really done between the two of you. So I don't know if they have this fear of, you know, if they come forward if that's just going to create more tension or just blow this out of proportion even, you know, more, um, and they're afraid of that, the outcome. No, let's see the lovers. King of Cups, King of Wands, Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're holding back a little bit. Um, not a lot though. It's more of like a procrastination. I feel like they're like on the verge of wanting to do something to see if 
if there can be this reconnection. And I mean, two kings here, king of cups and the king of wands, they're wanting this a lot. Like there's a lot of feelings here. There's a lot of emotions here. They're wanting to overcome whatever these challenges are. Seven of swords though. I don't see them acting on it 100%. And I feel like the reason why they're not acting on it 100% is because you're also in this kind of defensive energy. And so that's intimidating them, um, making them fearful of what the outcome might be. Hmm. Let's see the Four of Pentacles. For the potential outcome here, which sometimes can also hold messages as guidance. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles showing up again, the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords. Yeah, you know, it feels like kind of like a there's like a resistance here. I feel like somebody is wanting to explore this, communicate about it. And I'm not necessarily saying that that would resolve things, but I I feel like then the other person, which would be you from the looks of it unless the roles are reversed. Um, it's like you're holding on tightly to your, your beliefs here or, you know, what you said you were going to do or, um, whatever ground you're holding. And I mean, five of swords, right? Is this, is this really how you feel? See, it's, it's coming up again. So yeah, that will be your, your decision to make. If that's you, if it's them, well, you know, um, if the roles are reversed and you're, if you're cross watching or if the roles are just reversed, yeah, I feel like it's like that person is still holding on to what they, um, that front because it does feel a little bit like a front. But again, you know, it's to protect their ego from, from this pain. Um, eventually, you know, it might be overcome. This is just meant to be for a short span of time. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. All right. And if that's you, well then, you know, that's, again, it's your, it's your decision of what you feel is, is best for you at the moment. All right, so if this resonated, we have finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. Yeah, so basically getting in touch with your higher self, um, your spiritual side, your intuition to see what it is that you are truly feeling possibly or take that message however it resonates for you. All right, Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.